There, BC. Um, it's Mark here, Dr. Rhythm. A uh, quick response to the faces thread um, that I saw this morning, and I saw Dark Dove do a response a few minutes ago. I just happened to have a few minutes and thought I'd get up and do one. First of all, Fred, you are such a fantastic um, part of the VC. Always tune into your videos. You're always sharing great music, turning me on to lots of interesting uh, tunes and artists, great knowledge, very engaging. Um, keep posting. I'll keep watching. So, um, an album which I've just picked up. That's Robert Wyatt. In fact, I picked up two of these double albums. There's a red one and a blue one. Um, just very, very strong face. And actually, just to really make the point with this album, you also get a beautiful black and white photo print of the iconic Robert Wyatt. Um, this has been released to coincide with an authorized biography of Robert Wyatt. And yeah, just musically, what a genius, really one of the, the living geniuses amongst us at the time, at this time. Um, yeah, well, you probably don't know this, but my father was a photographer, and um, this is one of his album, his uh, covers. This is Sandy Shaw. It's got a little bit of water damage here, but this is um, obviously an original from the mid-60s. She was very, I'm pretty proud of that. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty good shot. I'm not a massive fan of Sandy Shaw. Um, best known for uh, singing in the Eurovision Song Contest and then guesting with the Smiths. Um, but actually, she's 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 an interesting artist. But yeah, very strong cover and one of those covers where the face is really right up close to the camera, real soul in there. Um, and another female. Another female artist, very different, very soft, Flora Purim. Um, obviously not looking at the camera, but that can also have just as much impact. Very sort of soft, thoughtful, very fitting with the kind of music that's on this album. Um, Dark Dove showed some miles. Oh, this is so much reflection going on here. Can you just about see that? It's from In a Silent Way. I mean, it's a very, very, very black cover. I think that's the whole point, really. With Miles, you can make out Miles there. Again, very thoughtful, but a really strong statement. That's the other side, and a beautiful album. Um, a more esoteric, not, not a photo, but a picture. This is Weldon Irvin and the album Sinbad. And, yeah, very, very... Uh, very impressionistic, sort of uh, very surreal cover here. Um, it's a gatefold. Um, Weldon Irvin, yeah, again, but the image is strong, and it's looking. He's looking directly at you. Very kind of iconic looking guy, actually, Weldon Irvin. Very unusual looking, and you tend to see his his face in most of the albums that he features in for a good reason. Um, I think everyone knows this. Again, sometimes black and white is really strong to get a message across. I very vividly remember this just looking so different from everything else that was happening around about the mid 70s. Just very arresting, very strong uh, image of Patti Smith and horses. around the same time but very different music Tommy Bolin the teaser so Tommy Bolin who takes that fantastic guitar solo on uh, Billy Cobham's Spectrum Red Baron um, also played with Deep Purple and the James Gang um, he looks like he's having fun I think maybe he had a little too much fun because he died very early with kind of quite serious drug issues going on but I remember this album just it it looked yeah, it's just a, it's just catch, captures a moment, obviously just having fun. So that's Tommy Bolin. Um, this one's very much about 
the musician and his instrument. Love this cover. Melvin Jackson, Funky Skull. So this album is all about Melvin Jackson playing through this kind of, what is it, like a kind of envelope filter thing, um, playing an upright bass through an envelope filter. Sounding extremely funky. Um, Melvin Jackson, who played with Eddie Harris. I love the angle of this picture as well, sort of shooting from up above. And um, yes, and look again, he's looking straight at you, saying, come and have a listen to this. And you should, it's a great album. Um, staying with the kind of jazz side of town, Rasan Roland Kirk, The Inflated Tear. This one's interesting because it's just Rasan's face really full on full of woodwind instruments and his cheeks blowing out and you can just kind of feel the energy from him which is very much captured in this album as well on the Atlantic label fantastic album fantastic artist obviously who was visually impaired so probably didn't pay a huge amount of attention to what his album covers looked like but I imagine probably gave some kind of artistic direction as to how he wanted them to to come out and then lastly well this is whistle stop um michelle and de uh, what's the album called comet comet come to me uh, another one of my albums of the year um yeah again a very strong image um using the face but obviously painting the face um sort of reminds me in a strange way of the Aladdin Sane David Bowie cover but just different and also hands hands can be fantastic as well in photos so there's the back so yeah very quick um, but yeah just wanted to vibe with Fred and again um, celebrate his four years on the VC may there be many more Fred and keep doing what you're doing and take care everyone look forward to hearing your thoughts and comments and hopefully other people will post responses too see you later